And uh, like Eddie said, that could be through books of religious text. It could even be uh, through the entrepreneurial books that we have here. Uh, you know, uh, we have like connected to goodness, uh, different startup books, personal development books. My point is, if there's negativity in your life, we have to counter that with positivity. And the way I personally have gone about it was probably three things. One, uh, talk, you know, be putting myself in spaces like this one so I can hang out with John and, and get some positivity in me uh, by reading books, whether that's the Bible or some of these entrepreneur books. And then one of the recent ones that was an interesting hack for me because I love hip hop was removing all of the negative hip hop and specifically curating a bunch of positive hip hop for like gratitude is the attitude, all that good jazz. So I'm happy to share that playlist with anybody. I've been listening to that for over a year now and it's just on loop now in my head, you know, gratitude, positivity, earning money, being abundant. It's just my mindset. And, uh, and so if you have negative forces in your life, you have to replace it with positive inputs. I'm gonna give you a quick exercise. I do this every morning. I've been doing this for 25 years of my life. Every morning when you wake up, declare your intentions. My intentions for today are, when I woke up this morning at four o'clock in the morning, my intentions for today, you and I had this conversation. I'm here to give, I'm here to give, I'm here to give. This is not about me. This is not about me. I'm here to give of my talents, my knowledge, my skills, my experience. I'm here to give to all of you so you can walk away with something. What's the takeaway? And tonight, before you go to bed, ask yourself, what was good about today? What was good? If you end every day of your life from this point forward, so I'm going to challenge you that tonight, ask yourself, what was good about today? Today, I got to attend this all day workshop. And I got, and I learned this, and I learned that. Whatever you capture from this, celebrate that. Celebrate you. Celebrate your life. Celebrate this moment, and there's more moments to come. And I know, I speak for myself, but I can speak for, for, for the, two, the other two uh, speakers. Whatever you need us, we're here for you. And then my last thing is talk to yourself. I know people may call you crazy, right? Because when you see people talking to themselves, you might call your, you, we used to call them crazy, but talk to yourself. But talk to yourself in a way where you are feeding yourself who you want to be. Feed yourself goodness. Feed yourself how great you are. Feed yourself, again, to Eddie's point, at the end of the day, what did I learn? What did I get? What did I gain? Give your, feed yourself with the good things. Because there's one thing for certain, you will be attacked by negativity. But talk to yourself about all the positive things that you're going to do, what you are about to do, and what you have done. And if you keep feeding yourself that, and you feed yourself the goodness, good things will come out of it every single day. Two, two final questions, Sammy, and then CJ, and then we got to wrap it up. I have a question for Ivy, especially since we're talking about all this outside naysayer. Um, my inner turmoil has also been that I work with people who are older than me, who have a lot of experience, 